Yo, what's cracking, peeps? T Money here, Saturday afternoon. I uh, just want to say thank you again, one last time, to everybody that um, participated in my contest. And uh, just a quick update I heard from no one, and I got your package uh, shipped out this morning, actually, a couple hours ago. So you're good to go, dude. Just give me a shout when you get the package. So I know you received it, and um, Winston Giordano, um, let me know when you. Or just hit me up, dude, so we can uh, I can get your Addy and whatnot and ship that out to you on Monday. Thanks again, guys. Uh, so today, just quick little updates of some films, uh, mostly going on the um, the uh, series I was gonna I had mentioned about going to Goodwill and Fye and doing some bargain buying over the weekends. Uh, kind of did that actually last night and uh, this morning when I woke up too. So. Um, so yeah, let's get right into this. Uh, most of these are from Goodwill. Uh, a couple of them are from FYE. And then I have one little surprise package to unbox at the end of the video. Uh, nothing crazy, just a Blu-ray that I grabbed that came. So um, yeah, I thought it was It Comes at Night because I ordered that on eBay and this is from eBay as well. However, I got a shipment alert notice an hour ago. Um, telling me what it was so it is not that we will um, divulge at the end of the video I guess so all right so first up um, we'll go with the Goodwill haul I guess so uh, and this is in black and white mind you I just like the way it looks so that's what I've been doing um, recently but yeah this is uh, Halloween spooktacular don't know anything about it, just bought it for the Halloween season. I love my cartoony um, Ichabod Crane style uh, Halloween type animated shit. So yeah, I don't know. Funny thing about this is this, it's an Anchor Bay release. I don't know if you can see the logo there. It's kind of like the newer age Anchor Bay logo, uh, but not quite the newest. So yeah, anyway, so yeah, spectacular. Whoa, drop the shit, yeah. This was... This was in mint condition, so cool. If anybody knows about that too, feel free to drop a line. Um, if it's like good or bad animation or whatever, um, or if it's fun, really, that's all I care about. Uh, this film, Anatomy, I'd never heard of. Um, directed by somebody that I don't know, Stefan something Ruskinski. I don't know. Maybe he's big. I have no idea. But um. Yeah, it sounded good. So, another one for the collection. Uh, this one actually moods. Uh, 616 had talked about he likes his Vietnam War movies only. Um, and he mentioned this and Apocalypse Now. So I saw this, two bucks, used, mint condition. Uh, why not? Hamburger Hill. War at its worst, uh, men at their best. So supposedly a pretty good war epic from the 70s, was it? Oh, it's from 98, so based on the Vietnam War. Oh, no, I'm sorry. So maybe 87? I really don't know. There's all kinds of different dates here, but yeah, it's 1987, so cool. Decided to check that one out because I loved Apocalypse Now, and I actually saw that movie for the first time like a month ago, uh, and I, yeah, I loved it, so. All right, so next up we have uh, the Mothman Prophecies, another one that actually Moods had recommended, I think on a shelf by shelf, he was going through it. Uh, this was a long time ago, I saw, heard him discussing it in one of his videos, but Richard Gere and Laura Linney, so pretty cool cast, a Mark Pellington film, and yeah, I guess it's uh, based on true events, but it's supposedly just really creepy, so, cool. 297 at the dump bin, if there ever was a dump bin at FYE. This was on clearance, essentially. Um, and I actually have another copy of this on DVD. So if anybody wants it, shout at me and um, you pay for shipping, I'll give it to you for free. How's that sound? Um, it's a good movie. It's like kind of a, a hallucinogenic or what is it? A hallucinogenic? Hallucin? Yeah, I don't know. It's a tripped out slaughter fest slasher film. So yeah, I just wanted to grab it because 
this one's in mint condition. The other one is, um, really I got it because it was on clearance. It was two bucks. But mine actually, I got it from an eBay seller a couple years ago and it was kind of scratched. So whatever, two bucks. All right, and uh, last film, The Goodwill Hall, Intruders. Um, I had seen this film a lot. It's a movie, it's always at FYE for cheap, like $3.99. Never pulled the trigger on it, but, um, you know, it's got tons of fears, a genre-bending descent into fear and madness from Dread, Dread Central. Uh, there's quotes here from Los Angeles Times, the New York Times. Uh, it says, both visceral and thoughtful, demonstrating a knack for cinematic dread rarely shown by today's mani manipulative horror meisters. So, yeah, cool. And I had actually never seen this film with a slip before, so two bucks. All right, uh, the last two before we get into the uh, little package I have, uh, another one. I guess we could we could call this um, this video. Uh, oh, I don't know. The influence of moods, heavy influence of moods on this video, for lack of a better description. But Phantom of Death, Regard Diodato film. Okay, so. I always struggle with the slasher film that this guy um, directed. I always say it's blood something, but the movie is Body Parts. And I think it's Body Parts. And I really dig it. Sorry if... Screen looks a little blurry. Not sure what's going on there, guys. Sorry. Oh, uh, there we go. Um, but yeah, so... he uh, Moose loved this spoke highly of it in one of his reviews and so Phantom of Death said apparently there's an awesome um, appearance by or or um, what's his name Donald Pleasance plays like a sheriff in this film and I guess it's an amazing performance or a fun performance by by him so yeah uh, just stoked to see this um, again in typical uh, uh, shameless fashion it is, uh, well actually, it is numbered, number two in the line, and there's a reversible collector sleeve. So, very cool, I'm just gonna leave this because I like this artwork better, but yeah. So, after Moot to hype that one up, man, that, that was actually one I wanted for a while, and I saw it, uh, just stumbled upon it when I was looking uh, for movies on Amazon UK. 6.99 pounds, so I bought it. Um, okay, last one up. I actually grabbed this at FYE. I love this beat. Uh, but yeah, a new one from VCI. I actually thought re VCI was defunct. Maybe somebody was fucking around and they said that, but I had heard that. And apparently it's not true at all. Um, or, uh, yeah, I really don't know. But this is a new one from VCI. 2017 release of a 1977 film. Uh, Ruby. And I had never heard about this. It says, a love affair with the supernatural. Frightening, uh, sorry, frightening and carry. Now terrifying, I'm sorry, yeah, frightening in Carrie, now terrifying as Ruby. So I guess we have similar actors here, or actresses rather. Um, starring Piper Laurie, Stuart Whitman, Roger Davis, and Janet Baldwin. I'm not sure of the Carrie movie cast, so I couldn't tell you. I guess it's not the main actress, but anyway, Ruby. So cool to have this. I didn't even know of this film's existence. So when I saw it was a new one from VCI, I had to support it. It's just a, uh, well, it's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. So, and they're going with clear cases now. So that's always cool. I love clear cases. All right, guys, last up. Not really sure, we're, uh, excuse me, sure why I saved this for last. It's nothing special, but it's a movie that I love. I grew to love. I didn't like it when I first saw it. Watched it a couple times and just, each time I watch it, I like it a little more. Um, and so I wanted to grab it when I saw it. I didn't even know it had a Blu-ray release, but um, cool. It's sealed, sealed too. I didn't realize that. It's uh, Anchor Bay. Anchor Bay's release of uh, Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon on Blu-ray. So very cool. I didn't know, like I said, that this film had a Blu-ray release. Looks like it's been out since uh, 2009 too, so somehow it flew by my radar but yeah it doesn't matter sorry guys struggling to find a there we go an entrance into this blu-ray oh uh well nope never mind that's just plastic i thought the case was cracked hate that when they're like 
think like the older the movie is, the release is, if it's still sealed, the plastic starts to really mold to the huh, plastic case. But anyways, you just got your standard film on Blu-ray though. And yeah, this is a really, really good film. So cool take on the slasher film. All right guys, that's it. Quickie for Saturday. Don't want to keep, uh, keep it going. So have a nice weekend. I'll catch you guys soon. Peace. Oh, I thought I had turned it off. Sorry, guys.